it's Carolina with alwayseexpectmore.com. You can find me on Instagram as craftmore. And today we're doing block 10 of the Quilty 5K, the 16 patch. Are you ready? Let's get started. Because we're strip piecing the 16 patch block, I just need to cut a two inch strip of each of my fabrics. So I have my Cozumel Blue and my Raspberry Rose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a two inch strip of both at the same time. I have everything all squared up together. And with one cut, I have both of my strips cut for this block. And I'll be doing some sub cutting as we go along making this block. For the 16 patch quilt block, we're doing things a little different than we've done in the past. We just cut strips instead of cutting all of our squares. And we did that for a reason. We can actually strip piece this block or much of this block. So there's different ways that you can strip piece. We're actually just going to strip piece into pairs and then stitch our pairs together. When you strip piece, you need your strip to be the width of your block and then the length of as many blocks as you're going to need, plus a little bit to give yourself some room. We're going to need eight of these and eight times two and a half, well, four times two and a half is 10. So eight times two and a half is 20. So we need a 20 inch strip. And a 20 inch strip is half the height of your width of fabric. So that means we should be able to cut it off right here at the fold for each piece. Let's just measure it to be sure. So yep, I've got plenty. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them at the fold and put the other half away. Now, if you're doing the larger blocks, you will need more of the fabric. There we go. Just one strip of each. And now what we're gonna do is just stitch these together a quarter of an inch all the way down the whole length of the strips. Now I have my strips piece and I can press everything towards the dark, which in this case is gonna be my raspberry rose. So there we go, I have this whole thing pressed and now I'm going to sub cut it into eight two and a half inch chunks. And the way I do that, is I just grab my other mat here. I'm gonna square off an end. And now I can cut my mistake. I need two inch pieces. So I can cut two inch pieces. There we go. Two inch. So really, I didn't need a 20 inch piece. I needed eight times two, which was a 16 inch long strip. But always better to cut too much than too little. And this is what happens when I do video sometimes. I get just a little bit mixed up. Eight. So now I can bring back my pressing mat can lay out the block. If we wanted to, after sewing our two strips together, we could have cut it in half and then sewn the two strips together again to make a row of four strips. And that way we'd have four strips and we'd turn to make this four strips and turn to make this four strips and then turn to make this four strips. That is another way of doing it, but that just felt like 
maybe a little too complicated. So if you didn't understand that, no worries, we're not doing that. We're just gonna stitch these together into rows and then stitch our rows together. Sound good? And you can see I'm getting these ruffles here from my leader ender, or from my uh, thread getting caught. So I'm gonna do a leader ender, and that'll keep my thread from getting caught when I cut it with the thread cutter. All these can get pressed towards the raspberry rose. With the 16 patch block, when you go alternating colors like this, a checkerboard, you choose a color and you press all of them towards that color. Now, if you'll notice, this matches up and it should be a checkerboard. So all I do is turn it 180 degrees and now I've got my checkerboard. So now I just stitch the top two rows together and the bottom two rows together and then I can stitch the top and bottom rows together to make the full block. Now that it just needs a final press. If you wanted, see how these two are going in this direction and that direction? You can spin this seam in this direction, and then these seams in that direction, and then these seams in this direction. So I can continue to spin my seams like this. Or if you want, you can just press all the seams in one direction. It's up to you, whatever you prefer here. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep spinning. There we go. The 16 patch is complete. Now you might notice that these squares are square and this is a rectangle. So you might think, oh my goodness, I did it wrong. But you have to remember that a quarter inch all the way around here is going to get used up when you stitch it into the final quilt. So if you measure this, this should be a quarter inch bigger than these squares, and then you've done everything just perfect. And that's how easy it is to make the 16 patch. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and recommend your friends. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get all of my crafty and quilty updates. Remember, you can find me right here on my site, alwaysexpectmore.com, or on Instagram as Craftmore. I'll see you soon.